friends, and welcome back to Amanda Muse. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A specific to breastfeeding, so if you are breastfeeding or have breastfed or just curious about the process, then please stick around. I posted a question to my Facebook page, so if you would like your question featured in the next video, click the link below and you can go like my page. Of course, a little background is that I am currently breastfeeding my son. He's two years and three months, and we have been breastfeeding obviously since he was brand spanking new, and um, he breastfeeds a lot, like he's kind of upped his game lately, which is a little intense for me because you'd kind of think like it too it would just be like hit and miss but the boy sees me and he wants his num and num he calls it num and num it's pretty much the cutest thing you've ever seen and then previous to jack i breastfed my daughter esme till she was just shy of two years so 22 months i was pregnant at the time and i just couldn't do it a day longer um, so no tandem nursing for me but i have experience you know the newborn to toddler years and so i thought i would answer some of your questions let's jump into it Kirsten Packa was asking, how do I deal with teeth? So of course my two year old obviously has like a lot of teeth um, and how I dealt with it. And I did this with my daughter too. And I know it sounds very simple, but it worked for us is that the moment they get those teeth and realize that they have them and they give a little bite, I am very firm. And let me tell you, I'm not very firm in a lot of areas of my life, but when you are chewing on my tata, you're going to hear about it. So he would bite, get that little pinky in and you unlatch him and he off. And he's sitting there. I don't care how old you are. I'll lean you up against the sofa. And I say, no, ouch, ouch, Jackie. And I make a big deal out of it. And then we wait. And usually they're like, well, I want more milk. So let me come back on. If he does it again, same process and be very firm with it. The desire for the milk is strong enough that for both my children, they just realize there's no biting. As you continue to breastfeed, especially at the time where they're getting teeth, you kind of know their mannerisms. And I can even feel when he's about to kind of, and so I will just unlatch and look at him like, that's not how this goes. And if it's gonna go that way, we aren't gonna breastfeed. So that's worked for me, I hope it works for you. Leanne Miller was asking if I found myself tied to the sofa 24 seven in the early days. And if so, how did I entertain my older child? Absolutely. I can't say it's the perfect answer, but the TV is your friend or an iPad or a snack. I think there was an imprint of my bum on the sofa. My boobs were out all the time. It was just like, what are you gonna do, right? You wanna have this successful breastfeeding relationship with your second child, but then you have a first one to entertain and honestly I would say just give yourself some grace especially if there's a balance right like if you're just like oh my goodness please just play with this iPad while I nurse for the next 30 minutes so be it this is a very short time and it's gonna go by really quick it's also a time where your partner your spouse can actually spend time with your older child and really solidify that bond it's already there but this is really their chance to do their thing and just to even communicate and say hey you know what grandma and grandpa like I'm really struggling here. I really need to bond with my new baby and breast me. Can you take out the older one, take them for ice cream, go to the park, do something. And I felt like that really worked for me. Dean just in all of the off hours was always hanging out with Esme. Um, and it just really allowed Jack and I to bond. And so I think those two things, grace and help will get you far. Erin Schroll was saying that she knows I am an extended breastfeeder and how did I continue that once food um, and solids is introduced? Because I've always been an on-demand breastfeeder type of style, once food is introduced, for me breastfeeding is not like, it's not the food anymore. It's more a comfort. It's how we go to sleep. It's having a nice, you know, a nice warm bottle kind of deal. So with Jack, I would feed him his three little meals a day. I would always start with the food because that's what works. The nice thing is whether he ate a little or a lot, it didn't really matter because I always knew he would, you know, top up his his tummy with breast milk later. Um, and we've always just done it that way. And now, you know, he eats his three meals and he breastfeeds to go to sleep or if he hurts himself or if he just wants to have a little snuggle with mama. So right now they're like two separate things. But in those earlier days, it was just food and then breast milk, food and then breast milk. And that's how we did it. Vicky Casey was asking about supply and what are some suggestions to keep your supply up. For me, I've been very blessed in terms of supply. I also try not to think about it too much. I think that's like point number one. Um, the second thing is be sure to sleep and eat and drink. Sleep, eat and drink. You like how it's all in five fingers? Most important is to drink a lot. 
go out and get yourself a cute little water bottle or a very big water bottle probably and drink the hell out of it. And I didn't just drink water. With Jack, I was addicted to Ribena. Could not just drink straight water. It was like not in the cards, but whatever. Liquid is liquid. It was kind of like this thing where once the baby would cry, I'd be like, where's my drink? And I would sit down, have the baby and just drink and drink and drink and drink and drink. And second thing is eat. Eat three meals a day, eat four meals a day. Who cares? This is not the time to be worried about your weight. Your postpartum body will come back eventually. Yes, it sucks to be carrying extra weight, but your goal right now, your whole mission in life is to nourish this child. And not to say that your needs are like not important because of course they are, but if your goal is to maintain a healthy breastfeeding relationship, then you have to appreciate that your body right now is working in overtime. It needs to be fed, hydrated, lots of sleep, get a little bit of exercise if you can. Doesn't mean you need to do run a marathon, but if, like if you just wanna to walk to the park and back or do a little walk around your neighborhood, um, walk around the mall, like it doesn't matter. You know, I feel like this is a pretty loaded question because there are so many factors that can affect your supply. Um, it can also just be anxiety. Like find whatever works for you. If you have family members that are kind of like, well, we wanna help and we wanna bond with the baby, be like, hold the baby. Feeding a person is not the only way to bond with them. And if you find that all of this noise is stressing you out, because let me tell you it will, then your partner or you or an email to all your people is like needed. This is not the time for you to be totally worried about what other people think about your parenting choices, because this is going to be the first of many where people are going to want to try to judge you because I don't know, people don't have time to be worried about themselves, like go do something else. But I know that people mean well and they kind of will say little comments here and there and it's so hard when you are already perhaps insecure about your parenting choices and it, maybe it's not functioning as fast as you would like, oversupply, undersupply, all of those things. But really I think at the end of the day what I'm trying to say is like have a good support group. You need to have like a sit down with your husband and explain to him what your goals are and what you need to, to achieve those goals. Do it. Because the only downside with it is that if you don't um, and you don't take the steps to like take care of yourself and be around supportive people, then your breastfeeding journey might be a little shorter than you would hope. I think every little bit is great and I'm not trying to say that any one way to feed your child is good or bad. You know what I mean? Like, feed your baby, that's the most important part. But if your goal is to breastfeed, then you wanna just have as much support as possible um, where your focus can be to just feed your baby. Anna Washington was asking the most comfortable breastfeeding position for a toddler. I find that I flip between three. My favorite is laying down. I like to just chill. So I remember the moment that I learned how to breastfeed and latch while laying down. I felt like I had found the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just life-changing because I, I find myself very relaxed and comfortable when I lay down to nurse. So with Jack, we still do that. Like if he wants to have num, -a -num um, we go find a bed and we lay down. And oftentimes it's because he wants to go to sleep and so it's very convenient. If we're out and Jack wants to nurse, then just old school, because he's big, like, you know, he just lays here, like standard breastfeeding position or sometimes he's just like sitting beside me on the sofa and we're like laying down together. So it's it's whatever, you know, your breast size you're comfortable with, how you like to position yourself and what your baby's best latch is. But I think with a toddler, it's like, it's like breastfeeding gymnastics. It's however they are comfortable, but I try to avoid, when he starts bouncing around and there's like my boob in the mouth and his head is moving, heck no, you're gonna sit down. like. You do not stand on the table to eat. You do not stand and jump on your mama to eat. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Thank so. you so much for your questions. If you would like any of your questions featured in future Q and A's, whether it be breastfeeding related or just lifestyle things, click the link below to add me on Facebook and like my Facebook page. And that's the scoop, my friends. So as usual, it goes without saying that I appreciate food in all of its forms. So however you feed your baby is wonderful and I appreciate that and so does your baby's tummy. So it's all good, but this is more just to and tricks on my experiences with breastfeeding so i hope it helped a few of you all right you guys keep it real and i'll see you in the next video bye